Uh, we're going to talk really from the new album now. Mm -hmm. We're going to work sort of back on this one. Now you've got your new album, and that's going to be around in about sort of May and June. May and June. May and, June. and what's it called? Up in the air. And uh, with the music that's on there, what can we expect from this new album from Ivy Shinner? Uh, you should expect inspiration, soul, Philly soul, some uh, UK soul. It's like a fusion. Mm -hmm. um, Boy, some uh, hip hop flavor. So basically, got everything in there. Everything in it. Now, yes. uh, you actually mentioned, you very touched on very briefly, and I said very quickly, mm -hmm. Philadelphia. Now, you are originally from the Philly area, aren't you? Yes, in Philadelphia. I am. Yes. And uh, so, what was it like? Um, oh, what, it looks like London, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but on a more musical sense. Music is, oh man, the soul. Um, wow, it's just, it's, 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 in, us. it's just in us. The harmonies, because. Uh, harmonies and we, we don't sing, we sang. We sang. There's a difference. <laughs> we don't have, and, and then, even, even with church, yeah. we don't have church, we have chach. Chach. <laughs> chach. That's how you, and that that's means you sang it. <laughs> and that's how you started off, really, is it? In yes. your church? Since I was five years old, I started singing and singing in church and in so chach, the family. Uh, with the family and. Um, Actually, I call it, I call it the, the school of hard knocks because the women in there, the choir directors, did not play discipline, perseverance. That's where I've learned, um, you know, to, you know, just sing, you know, train and and just sing and sing to the highest level. Mm -hmm. You know, try to make people feel what I'm singing about. So instead of just singing just to sing, sound pretty, no, I want to sing to make people feel what I'm singing. Every word means something. Now when it comes down to your singing, did you have any sort of training at all? Or was it just a natural thing for you? Um, it was natural, but I also, I did take a couple of lessons with um, like some of the choir directors and um, uh, professional uh, vocal coaches in New York. Um, because I want to polish my craft. Yeah. You know, it's just like an athlete. You know, you have a coach to take you out of your comfort zone, and that's basically what I actually I'm, a, I'm actually a professional coach as See, well. See, this is where I was going. See, was, so well. I don't know if a craft there. I kind of just uh, I manipulated that sort of right, question. Right, I, 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 I see it. So, yeah, <laughs> I kind of manipulated you on that one. And you're saying that with the with the training, the vocal training as well. Um, you actually you actually teach it as well, don't you? Yes, I do. And I uh, there is a particular name that you're going to throw at me now, aren't you? Come on. Uh, Simon Cowell. Yes, <laughs> Simon Cowell. Now, what is your association? With the great, we're gonna say the great, the great. God, sorry, Cal. Well, we have mutual friends. Yeah. <laughs> I actually met him. I just used to see him around and at, at the Ark, and also um, I was a contestant on um, X Factor. Um, I was like the last 50 out of 250 thousand people, um, and through that, I um, actually was hired to coach a, a close associate associate of his, yeah. and also uh, Jackie St. Clair. To the point I was actually teaching in his house. Right, <laughs> so. so I want to ask you about uh, your influences really back in, in uh, when you was back in Philly. Mm -hmm. um, who did you like back then? Who were you listening to? Wow. Listen to Hyman LaBelle, Phyllis Hyman, oh man, frankly, uh, Beverly uh, Mays, Mays you have uh, um, Teddy Pendergrass, I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, the order, yeah. I mean, from hip hop, you have The Roots, you, yeah. have, the, you have DJ Cash Money, also Jazzy Jeff, and, you know, oh man. Uh, now, when it comes to DJ Scott. Cash Money, you quickly kind of went over that one, didn't you? Now, there was a little <laughs> bit of a, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of a, a, a thing going on, really, isn't it? Now, yeah. not that you only know DJ Cash Money. Yes, he's my brother. Hey, you see, so he's still he's now. My big brother. He's your my big, big bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's he doing now at the moment? Oh, wow, he's on tour. He's Him on and tour. MC Marvelous is on tour. They, they're back together doing their thing. And um, he's doing some productions. He's doing production on my album, but you know, he's. Keeping it moving. Keeping it going. Yeah, keeping it real as well, so keeping it in the family. And uh, you also mentioned The Roots, because that is one of your influences as well, isn't yes, it? The Roots. The and roots. there was one particular person that you mentioned. Was that oh, tutorial? my mentor, um, yes. James Poisoner. James Poisoner, yes. Because yeah, he plays the keys and he inspired me to play the keys. And also, he is the one that actually told me to put out the Be About It CD. And also, Larry Gold. And Larry Gold as well. Yeah. Also, you've actually entertained presidents as well, haven't you? Yes. 
So if we can just get right up to the microphone, we're going to hear that. So you've actually entertained presidents now, namely, is it Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton. Wow. Also, the Prime Minister at the time is uh, Tony Blair. Uh, Tony Blair as well. So there we go. So no more sin on that one. You have definitely um, been around sort of entertaining. It's been a pleasure. I'm so glad you've, uh, you're here and uh, now I know so much more about you. Um, it's a pleasure really and I'm looking forward to your new album and uh, called Up In The Air. So looking forward to that and the tracks that we have been playing from that uh, um, called Wind Blows. Yes. And uh, we've been playing the remix but the, uh, is the remix on the album as well? Uh, uh, the remix will be on the album. It will be on the album as well, along with the, obviously with the yes. original. And, uh, because that's going to be re-released. Um, Wimbledon is going to be re-released in yeah. April. And that's the lead single off my album, Up in the Air. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just look out for IvyChanel.com, my fan page, Ivy Chanel, the artist, uh, Twitter. Um, also, if you want vocal lessons, hey, 20% off to the <laughs> right now, spring yeah, time. But stuff. before I go, I do have to do one go little ahead. dedication because tomorrow's my birthday and I'm a March baby and also an Aries. <laughs> so I just want to sing for those whose birthdays is in March and also the Aries. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dear March Babies, <laughs> happy birthday to you. And this is your, um, this is the single that's going to be uh, sort of it, funding for cancer and yes. you can actually uh, get this on your website yes. and you can make a donation if you like and uh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Once again, Ivy, thank you very much for coming thank down you. today and it's been a pleasure. pleasure. Thank you.